is up you guys I am here with my Japan shopping haul and I'm super excited to share it with you guys because I love Japan so much I go there a couple to a few times a year and I just love it there so whenever I do go there I tend to I have a tendency of bringing empty luggages with me with an anticipation of filling them all up and usually I do um, sometimes a little bit too much but let's get started this video is mainly going to be most of the clothing um, accessories whatever hype beastie things that I love I'm going to do a separate video for Japanese snacks and I'm gonna do another one for all the otaku things so otaku things is like anime and stuff like that that's gonna be separate for my viewers who are not really into that kind of stuff but if you are into it, stay tuned. I've seen some other Japanese treats videos, so I wanted to do one as well. But without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible because the first time that I tried to do it, it was almost an hour. And I can't I can't have that. My, my camera is going to overheat and die. And then I'd have to film another time and it's just going to bug me. But anyways, I'm just going to start randomly. And um, I'm just going to pick from whatever stash that I have here. So the first thing that I have is from Kith Treats here. So Japan does have a Kith Treats. It's just a little pop-up store where they serve the ice cream and select um, merchandise. So I only got one thing. The bag is really deceiving because I guess that's all they really had at the time. So I got here this Kith canvas tote. Um, I do love canvas totes. I believe a couple trips ago I felt like I needed to get a canvas tote from everywhere that I went. So here it says Kith Treats and it has uh, top handles or, or like a really short shoulder strap and then it has like a shoulder slash cross body strap as well this would explain the price this was pretty pricey for what it is but um, honestly kit stuff isn't really cheap anyway so it just has the big opening and then it has one side pocket opening here with the kit logo uh, this item here was 4,800 yen, which equates to maybe about 45 US dollars. But I do love my totes. Definitely love this. This item that I got here, I actually picked this up from DFS before a day before we went to our trip we just so happened to be around the area because we needed to make yen happen <laughs> so they were giving out this promo where if you spent or bought any makeup or fragrance that you got this really really cute tote bag um the artist on here is jasper wong you might have seen him briefly in my montclair fragment Pokemon Porter video. I will link it. It's very short of him being on his phone um, But it's really cute. It has like all these little Little things that make it Hawaii and beauty Okay, so in here we got this Christian Dior dust bag and I have gotten this Rose Kabuki perfume from Christian Dior and it looks like this. I I don't know if you have been watching my videos, you probably can tell that I do love fragrances and beauty stuff. Yes, I do. I feel like I unbox one pretty often. Um, but I've been waiting for this since I got a catalog from them months ago. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen them in person in Hawaii and it's mainly because they were under renovation. But I really do love my floral citrusy scents. So this definitely fit in into my perfume collection that I have going on. This I believe was 220 USD. The great thing about DFS is that it is tax free. My next one that I'm going to get is the Holy Peony. That one smells amazing as well. But I got that. Next on the list here is a present. That's why I started Christmas shopping already since 
Christmas is coming soon, guys. If you guys are just not telling yourself that it's happening, it's happening. So this I actually got for my nephew. I'm going to share it with you guys. He doesn't watch my videos anyway. So I got this from Bathing Eight, and I had gotten him. So this is just the case. It is a, um, a face mask. So you would like put this over your mouth as like so. I got him this because he does a lot of dancing videos and he likes to cover his face. So I thought he'd really like this because he likes a lot of these things. Um, here's my first bag from Porter. Uh, this item here that I have gotten, this is something that I went when I, I think the last four or five times that I've gone to Japan, I've always asked and they were always sold out. So I was super happy that they had gotten it this time and in multiple colors. So my husband and I just decided to get them all because they've been sold out. This is the first time we've ever been able to get them. So let's, as you can tell, it's an accessory. So it comes in the great orange bag with the bellboy. And it is the, ta-da, so it is a Porter Heavy Duty like keychain that you can put your keys on here. You can put your keys on this ring here and then you can attach it to anything, bags, your belt loop. And the great thing is that it has the clasp for you to release it at any time. Um, we have it in this black and black. We also got it in this gold and black. So shiny gold, the other one was a matte black. And you probably guess what the last colorway is. It is a shiny silver with black. So we wanted to get it because that's one thing that I can check off my wish list from four to five visits ago. Porter is super popular in Japan, so I'm actually really not surprised that they're always sold out. So now that minimizes some of the things that I wanted in my wish list from Porter. And then I have an item from Supreme. So when we were there, I was lucky enough to be there during the Supreme collaboration launch, so I'll show you guys that. But the first thing I got is this little Supreme wallet here in this really great fuchsia in the back it has a little contrasting pink with the white so basically i bought this mainly for my train pass um so there is an opening in the front so there's this part here where you're able to put your cell phone um my excess max can't fit in it so that's just have to gonna that's probably gonna just have to put my cards like here and then not use this section here. You can probably also put in your passport. And then there's three card slots here and then an opening window. And then it also had a little key ring here. So if you wanted to, you can put a carabiner on it or you can also put a lanyard on it. You can wear it around your neck. And it has one pocket in the front. Mainly I'd probably put pens in it and then a front pocket as well. So in Japan, train and all those cards that I have, these are easy access things to have. So that's why I had definitely got this, which I will probably use in the future. And then they had a collaboration with Levi's. So I used to work for Levi's many, many years ago, and I still really love that brand. It's probably one of the best brands that I've ever worked for. I I t still to this day shop Levi's quite a bit. So I got the trucker version of the Supreme collaboration. It's black nylon with white contrast stitching. I think this jacket is awesome. I can't wait to wear it since it is getting much colder here. And this smashed up bag here comes from the Kai Kai Kiki, which means that this is a Takashi Murakami store. So there is some cute things in this bag here. So the first thing I have gotten was put that down is one of the complex con shirts that happened. I think this was from early this year or late last year. So I re pink is one of my favorite colors. So I definitely had to get one of these. I think that his designs are freaking amazing. He is one of my favorite artists. 
So I'm excited to share this with you guys. And I also got a face mask as well. So it's the same concept, but this one is for me. I love to wear these whenever I am traveling. Um, also whenever you're sick or others are sick. So I have a couple of these that I bring around with me just in case. And then I've gotten a bunch of these little Kai Kai flowers. It's just an accessory and it also has a pin in the back as well if you want to wear it as a brooch. I wear it, I put it on my bags, put it on my jacket. It's super cute. This, the last couple times that I went, um, they were sold out. I've gotten one a few trips back and I've never seen them come back. They've been all sold out since then. So I was again lucky to be able to run into this guy. So there was multiple colors that I definitely grab so I got this with the blue and the white I got another rainbow a rainbow with the white face a rainbow with a black face Sorry, this is how they're packaged and they just they're just open um, a pink one another white face and another multicolored one so I know I've talked about it tons of times and I still haven't put it out yet and I'm talking about my cause giveaway and I think the reason why I kept pushing it back is because I didn't feel like it was enough for a giveaway so I feel like maybe adding one of these in so I'm going to add in a rainbow one is going to make it feel a little bit more complete in that giveaway so definitely definitely 100% this time I know I've said it like in three other vlogs or three other blogs that or three other videos that I am going to do it but this time for sure I feel a little bit more confident in this one now so this will be in it as well Dover Street is one of my favorite places to shop, especially if you're looking for hype BC things, Dover Street exclusives. Um, in this case, I have gotten only, I got a couple things, but I put it in a different bag because I don't know what happened to the bigger bag of this. So this is one of my favorite places to shop for Calm de Garcon items. Um, and the last couple trips that I have gone to, Again, same thing. They've been sold out of Comme des Garçons things. Just a pro tip, they are much cheaper than it is to get in the US. So CDG prices are better in Japan. And that's probably why my people are always standing in line before the store opens to get these things. So this is a dry fit Nike Comme des Garçons black collaboration shirt. I love Nike and I love CDG, so this was no brainer. Um, I can't wait to style this, but I do love the pattern on this. And going into CDG, I was able to get some other CDG pieces as well. This is the other thing that I have gotten from Dover Street that I couldn't fit in that bag. It is a a wool blend cardigan it's in black with the gold heart like for example i got this cardigan for 26,000 yen which equates somewhere to 250 usd if you were to buy this in in i don't know if it's just in hawaii or it's a u.s i'm pretty sure it's a u.s thing it's probably upwards in the 300 so i did save anywhere from 50 to 100 dollars um but from another CDG store, I was able to get a long sleeve polka dot t-shirt style with the red heart in navy blue. And I was able to get this cardigan as well. So this is one of the cardigans I have been looking at in Hawaii for a while. They've always been in and out of stock in the khaki with with the black heart when i asked my husband what he thought about it he says it looks like your skin tone i don't care what he says i'm gonna wear what i wear i'm gonna like what i like so i ended up buying it again um the price was twenty five thousand five hundred yen but again we would have gotten it for anywhere from 300 to 350 usd 
if it was bought in America. Um, this purchase here from Gucci, I honestly was unsure if I was going to buy anything luxury. Why? In Japan, luxury stuff are much more expensive. I think the best place to get something, in my experience, has probably been at Christian Dior. Um, most of these places are tax-free, but... I go there looking for things that I can't get at home, which isn't much. There was this item that I've been looking for in the past couple trips that I haven't seen from Christian Dior, which is the Asia bucket bag in the oblique. But again, for I think the third time that I've asked now, they did not have it. And um, there was some other things that I was looking for that I have seen, but the prices was just outrageous because it was Japan, which was the Goyard backpack here, which was, I believe, 48 thousand eight hundred no I'm sorry it was 480 it was 488,000 yen which equates to about $4,800 in USD for a canvas backpack with some leather parts. I just couldn't justify spending that much on this backpack and it didn't even have the color that I wanted which was in the yellow. But this item was long on my wish list. I never bothered to check Japan honestly. I thought that I was able to get it in Hawaii. I told my essay if this ever came up to give me a call. I never got a call, so I'm assuming I never they never got it. Also, one of the items that I have gotten in this bag here, I wanted the plain version when it came out Christmas last year. And since then, I kind of pushed it back, pushed it back because I saw this version. And I'm so glad that I walked in there and found it because I love it and I can't wait to use it. So I have, oh, my ring. So I have two items here. Let's start with. Let's start with this box right here. This is the one that drew me in from the outside. I never seen this before. I don't really stalk their website or anything, but I've never seen this before. Um, whether it's on social media, so I knew I had to get it. So let's open this beautiful box here. We have the gorgeous satin white dust bag. And it comes with all the booklets and stuff like that, which is pretty boring. And guys, ah, uh, look at this. This is a strawberry clay, pochette strawberry clay. Isn't it just adorable? It is embroidered on leather. I don't know if you're able to see it or if it's going to wash out, but there's little GGs on the back all through the back here and it has a scallop edging it is absolutely gorgeous i love strawberry things i love anything cute honestly which yeah i just do um but it has the gold zipper here and the little detail on this says gucci and let's give it an open it also has the clasp here and it has one just opening and it is just so freaking adorable like I just can't handle. I am going to love putting this on top of like my CDG Gucci tote bag. I think it's just going to go great together. It's going to accent it really well and I'm probably going to also wear this on my belt loop. It is just so absolutely freaking adorable like I just I can't handle it. It's just I needed to have it um, it's just the detailing is amazing like I said the embroidery on it is awesome and I think honestly I want to say that this might have been an Asia exclusive and I it, because it is cute I want to say that is why it ended up in Japan and then we got the second box here Open. comes with all those fancy booklets as well so it has this little dust bag here you might be able to tell by the size what it is if you follow Gucci and it is this 
amazing little toiletry or cosmetic case in the strawberry print. This is the one that I initially really wanted but wasn't able to get it, not in the US. But look how cute with the red and then the pink strawberries on it on top of the GG print. The hardware, the leather is the light pink and then it has just the like a regular, I don't know what color that hardware is, maybe like a dark gray. The inside is that pinkish lavender color. It is just absolutely cute. Again, I can't wait to wear this, especially probably with a transparent bag. That would be so, so adorable. But look at this. Just, I can't. The strawberry, it had me at strawberry. I think in the US, I've only seen the slides and the headband um, and shoes. I know I've seen the shoes. I think I've vlogged about that before, but I knew I wasn't gonna wear them. I don't own a pair of A sneakers. I don't plan to, it's just, no. Um, but look how freaking, I'm so glad that I waited. The one that I wanted, um, I think Minx For All has it. That's the one that I initially wanted. It was on my Christmas list, but then I just couldn't pull the trigger. Not a lot of Gucci things I can't pull the trigger on. I don't know what that is, but I'm so glad to have this. And one of my favorite artists, Yoon, is the men's creative designer for the jewelry line for Christian Dior. And I'm so excited that I was able to visit her boutique in Japan. I got a couple things. So the first couple things that I have gotten is two t-shirts. So it is um, Japanese Tokyo exclusive. So it says ambush in the front in this orange. And the back it has 3M. You're not able to tell on the camera, but this is 3M. And then it basically says Japan Tokyo. So I got it in an orange color. And I also got it in this gray color as well with the hot pink in the back. I love Yoon Ambush. I think she is freaking amazing. So I'm so glad that I was able to go and visit. And I of course had to walk out with one of her bomb accessories. Open it up here. And I've gotten my first dainty little jesus piece how freaking i don't know if you can see it on camera but oh my gosh i think it is so cute and it says there's like an ambush bar in the back as well i just i just think this thing is just so freaking adorable um it also came in a gold as well i felt like knowing her and her being a jewelry you know like designer i had to walk out with one of her jewelry pieces i'm so impressed with the quality of her stuff you should definitely check out you can even see her website it's just so dope so i'm going to have to speed through the rest because i know my battery is going to overheat soon so bear with me guys um got something from babe and I got this clear round case with the baby Milo on it. I really liked it because I thought I could put jewelry. This is mainly for aesthetics, for vanity, and like just decoration, honestly. And with that whole Teddy trend going on right now, I honestly, the price for that bum bag, I know it's shearling, I totally get it, but the price is pretty high up there so I got this bag from Bape to kind of kill that crave that I have for that bag so it has that teddy style as well with the Bape logo and the back is black I just thought it's just so great to complement that trend that is going on right now without having to pay that really 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 high price and Got some other couple things from Bape as well to complement some of the ambush things that I have bought. So I have gotten these, this pair of baby pink and white striped socks to go with that ambush shirt. Even though it's hot pink, I feel like the baby pink will definitely complement it as well. And... I have also gotten it in an orange stripe as well. And 
I got Millie a little present because we just think she looks so darling in bandanas. We got her the pink camo bape bandana to wear. Sometimes she doesn't really care for wearing stuff, but she'll tolerate it. So we got her one of these. Winding down, winding down. My husband's been begging me to do this video because he's been wanting to use this ASAP. So we got two, three more things from Porter. So here we go. I stuffed it so you guys are able to see the shape of it in the famous orange. And we have gotten a medium duffel bag in the tanker in the green sage. So it has the Porter logo here. It has two D rings for a crossbody shoulder strap. And on the inside, it has just the open just two pockets in the back and it's just a really big opening and on the opposite side they're they're pretty known to have these translucent um, pockets in the side as well it's actually a really good size if you wear it as a shoulder bag it just my husband likes using these to like the gym and stuff but i use them just for throwing everything in. I kind of use it like as the same as a tote. I really like the shape of it. It reminds me of the Christian Dior one that I want but won't pay the price for. And two more things from Porter. So this, you have seen me unbox a similar one. I will link it above. So, so this is one of the items that I bought in the gray color. I have bought this in my last, I believe, Japan haul in the sage green. So this, we got it in a silver gray. So it has the two D rings here for crossbody shoulder strap. And then it has a loop through here so you can put it through your belt if you want to or something else. Uh, it has the silver hardware. And it comes with the crossbody strap. It has the same type of um lining as the others with the orange and it has the one pocket in the back and then the two in the front and this bag here is probably my favorite and this is the first time we've ever gotten like a green dust bag this is their this cutie balloon bag from Porter. So the similar shape to a Neo Noi Louis Vuitton. So I just really love Porter items. So that's why I thought that this was such a great buy. So it has the pockets in the front like so. And I gotta say, the Velcro on the buckle, um, I'm sorry, the Velcro and the button, snap closure button, keeps things very secure. And then if you open it up, it has the strap and then the orange lining there is no side pockets or anything in this one it's just the pocket in the front and then it has a top handle that's removable as well with the strap that is removable as well i think this would be really cute with that fendi strap that i have um just because the fendi strap is black and gray i think this would look super cute together and that's all the items that i have gotten from Porter and I think I have I have one more item which is the biggest item and my most favorite um, I have gotten it in my previous haul as well so I'm super excited that this is the colorway that I really wanted and it is from MoMA so Museum of Modern Art they had the Kai Kai Kiki flowers I am so so happy I will link it above and maybe below or both on the colors that I got in the last visit I got that from the Nakano Broadway store so this I got from again from MoMA so I've come to also realize I think the prices at MoMA is a little bit better just because they are tax-free whereas the Kai Kai store is not so much so I got it in the rainbow petals, which I don't have. And because of the price and because I love it so much, I got a second one. So one for our living room and one for my beauty room. I just, I just love these. I just think they're the most, they're just the most. I think 
they're so comfortable and I love them. And you know what's funny too? Um, my puppy Millie, she likes to rest her head on the little petals. She thinks it's comfortable and firm, I guess, so she really likes it. But this is my last kind of um, high BC item. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Yeah. But that is all I got for this, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell, too, so you can get notifications whenever I do get a new video. I do all kinds of things, but mostly unboxings. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out here, too. I do update that a little bit more frequently than I do on here. But again, guys, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you.